Tonight, in some very real sense, we are talking about revolution. Protecting our uh, natural resources and uh, reducing carbon emissions uh, truly are uh, the greatest entrepreneurial opportunities of our lifetimes. Entrepreneurship to reinvent the global economy, entrepreneurship to reinvent the development equation. Our goal and our job as an organization is to harness the power of entrepreneurs to unlock gigaton scale market opportunities. We have the potential as a group of leaders uh, to really create a new positive business force that supports economic growth as well as protects the wonderful natural world that we all live in. This is not only an economic issue, this is a moral and ethical dilemma. Amigas y amigos, there is no planet B. Our challenge is to write a different story. To convince people that development of clean energy and energy efficiency technologies could spur the greatest economic opportunity of the 21st century. I believe this is uniquely centered on the power of the entrepreneur and the spirit of entrepreneurship as a powerful, positive force for good. If we don't make this work, we can't address the most fundamental problems of mankind. The distribution of wealth around the world, ultimately national security threats of terrorism. We can't deal with the climate crisis which will beset mankind in the 21st century. There's a lot of opportunity for us to live better lives and if we communicate it from an opportunistic perspective and why it makes sense and why each of our individual lives will be better, how it impacts our home life, how it impacts um, you know, ultimately the planet that we leave to our children. The opportunity that we have is to pass the planet on better than we inherited it. That's never been done before. The number one issue that came up over and over again had to do with money. How to get some of this funding to be released from those who have the money to those who need the money. In terms of the solutions, devising tools uh, for increasing liquidity and profitability of energy uh, efficiency construction and retrofit projects, really try and create the big dangling carrot to create and enable and encourage this, the, the sector that's going to do both finance these projects but is also going to do the energy efficiency upgrades. We were very optimistic about the opportunities for creating climate wealth in these in these industries both in the existing market, a huge fuel savings potential with new navigation systems, huge business opportunities in the efficiency technologies and an ability to partner with other with other industries. Full-scale consumer awareness campaign. A lot of companies are doing this already. This isn't new but it's such low-hanging fruit and it's so huge that anything that we can do as a community to get behind this and facilitate, um, we should be really pushing for. Information is power, and information changes behavior. So the end users need a clear understanding of the business value to generate the market demand. Simple economics. We need a holistic view of where shipping and freight as a section should go. There's a lot of complex challenges around this market. I mean, from infrastructure to utilities to vehicles to batteries to raw materials. I mean, it's, you know, start acting now and start putting incentives in place now and start spurring the market now because not all these things are going to come together perfectly. We are at the start of a significant and meaningful positive change that is good for business and is good for the environment. It is truly in our hands 